Hi, this is Will Wild, and this is a quick introductory lesson to help get you started on the wild tuning. In this video, I'm going to be using the 1847 classic model. This one's in the key of C. So before we start, I'd like to thank you for purchasing one of my wild tuned harps. This tuning has revolutionized my playing and opened up a lot of possibilities for me. I hope it's going to do the same for you too. So the tuning was inspired by Brendan Power's Power Bender tuning and it shares the same concept where all of the draw notes are able to bend. There are a few key differences though. Um, this tuning is more geared towards blues and blues rock playing. So the best way to think about the tuning is like this. Holes one to five are exactly the same as standard Richter tuning, no changes there. Holes six, seven, and eight are just like a repeat of holes two, three, and four, but obviously an octave higher. Hole 9 is just like hole 2 again, but 2 octaves up. And hole 10, like on the, the power bender, the blow and the draw read have been reversed, so what used to be a blow bend is now a draw bend. So let's break this down. So holes 1 to 5 are exactly the same as standard tuning. So nothing has changed at all, we still have all the, the same kind of familiar bluesy stuff down there that you're used to used to playing we can still wail on that four and five double stop we still have our four and five trill and we still have all the same octaves and splits up to whole five Where things start to change is at hole six. So what we're gonna do to start off with is take our blues scale, second position blues scale, and go up from hole two as we normally would, but instead of finishing with a blow six, we're gonna finish on a draw six. So we've got draw two, draw three half step, blow four, draw four bend, draw four, draw five, and then draw six. Let's put that together. So, because we're now finishing with a draw six instead of a blow six, we're able to put as much vibrato on that top note as we want. Um, we're able to bend it up to a tone, just like hold two. And that means we're able to scoop up on it as well. For added expression. So let's try that one more time. And the other way, from six down to two. So to keep our blues scale going up into the upper octave, remember holes 6, 7 and 8 are an exact replica of holes 2, 3 and 4, just an octave higher. So we're going to go draw 6, draw 7, half step bend, blow 8, draw 8, bend, and then draw 8. So that's exactly the same pattern that we would follow from holes two to four. Just starting on draw six instead. Now a lot of people struggle to get this seven half step bend in tune. There is a tendency to go too low and have the note come out flat like this. Now this is because people aren't used to bending draw notes as high as this and the technique is a little bit different. So whereas if we were playing a low draw bend, say hold one, we really have to drop the jaw down, pull the tongue back and 
open up inside the mouth. Up here, I find it's better to keep the teeth close together. If you focus on keeping your teeth close together and your tongue forward, that stops you from bending too far. And then to complete the octave, hole nine is just like hole two. So the whole step bend in draw nine is the flat seven and the natural draw nine is the root. So we're gonna go draw six, draw seven half step, blow eight, draw eight bend, draw nine whole step bend, and draw nine. And again, we can add a lot of vibrato to that top note if we want to, um, because it's uh, a bendable note. They're all bendable notes on the inhale. Let's try that the other way, so from nine down to six. I prefer to use the jaw vibrato up here as opposed to the throat vibrato most of the time. Um, I find it's a little bit smoother on these high draw notes. Now if you want to keep going up, um, we've got our minor third as a whole step bend in hole 10. And the natural draw 10 is the fourth degree of the scale. So. Now obviously if you want to make this into a minor pentatonic scale, all you do is take out the flat 5. So um, from holes 2 to 6, we just leave out the draw 4 bend. And from holes 6 to 9, we just leave out the 8 draw bend. Okay, let's take a look at the major pentatonic scale. So again, holes one to five, nothing has changed, so it's just like uh, <clears throat> like we normally would. So we go and draw two, draw three, whole step, draw three, draw four, blow five, and then finish him with a draw six instead of a blow six. Now you may have noticed that there is a repeat of the major sixth here. Blow five and blow six are the same note. Now there is a reason for that. Uh, basically I wanted to keep holes one to five exactly the same as standard. And I wanted to put the root note in draw six. And I wanted to make that note bend a full tone. And in order for the draw note to bend a full tone, the blow read in that hole has to be set to this major sixth. So that's the reason for the repeat note. Now, when you're playing the major pentatonic scale, you can use either the blow five or the blow six to play that major six. Um, I prefer to just leave hole five out completely when I'm playing the scale, jump over it and go to the blow six like this. And then in the upper octave, six, seven, and eight are just like two, three, and four. So we're gonna go draw six, draw seven, whole step, draw seven, draw eight. Remember, keep your teeth close together so as not to bend that, uh, that whole step on the seven too far. And then blow nine and draw nine to finish. Blow 10 is a major second again, so we can still use that note. And the draw 10 half step bend, although quite difficult, is a major third, so you can use that too. So 
So that's the major pentatonic scale. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, these are the two main scales that I tend to use when I'm playing this tuning. Um, so it's a good place to start, major and minor pentatonic. Thanks for watching. Cheers.